Hello and welcome to Select 10. We are back with another list of the best 10 new web series, and today's listing includes some of the most recent shows that just premiered in June 2023. These recommendations include brand new web series and a few hugely popular titles that have returned for new seasons. Likewise, no matter what your favorite genre is, there is a series for everyone on this list, as we have reviewed some of the best new fantasy, adventure, comedy, and action shows that you should definitely check out. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Sleeping Dog. It is a crime drama thriller series created by Oda Davidoff and Noah Stolman. The narrative centers on Mike, a former police officer who is currently on the streets and begins digging into the old matter when an unexpected death prompts troubling questions regarding an allegedly closed murder investigation. He suspects organized crime as he investigates the gory evidence, which takes him further into the authorities and the legal system. The show immerses us in the world of attorneys, investigators, lawbreakers, and unresolved crimes and provides a thrilling, captivating mystery. Furthermore, there is a twist that you will learn about after you start watching, explaining why Mike is residing on the streets and how he is connected to the case. The show is unquestionably among the most enjoyable new thrillers on Netflix and is suitable for binge-watching. It is the ideal show for individuals looking for a well-written investigative drama with likable characters and an engaging narrative. Number 9. The Crowded Room, it is a psychological thriller miniseries created by Akiva Goldsman. The show centers on Danny Sullivan, who, in a string of sessions with investigator Raya Goodwin, reveals his story after being detained for his part in an attack in New York City in 1979. During questioning, he gradually discloses to Raya his enigmatic history, which contributed to the tragic event. However, when Danny looks back on the course of his life, he makes peace with his previous actions and a few key events, which finally cause him to discover information that will change his whole way of life. Meanwhile, Detective Raya works to unravel the puzzle surrounding Danny's case and feels that it can be solved by learning more about his past. Tom Holland is terrific and his performance drives the entire show. There are currently six episodes accessible for watching and the remaining episodes will air weekly. However, keep in mind that early episodes of the series have slow burn storytelling that makes the plot seem flat, but later episodes improve and make the story so gripping that you will be eagerly anticipating how it will draw conclusion. Number 8. King the Land. It is a romantic comedy series created by Chi and Sung Il. The show follows Gu Won, a successor to the King Company, a luxury hotel business, who is caught up in an inheritance dispute. He goes back to the King Hotel later, but on the opposite side, Chi and Sarang, who has become known as the King Hotel's queen of smiles and kindness, gets promoted from her lobby position to a higher position at the lavish King the Land, where she first encountered Gu Won. Amidst a stressful succession battle, Gu Won interferes with Chi and Sarang, who is recognized for her captivating smile, which he cannot tolerate. If you watch Korean dramas frequently, this might not impress you much, but overall, it's a truly enjoyable show that will delight viewers and hold their attention with its amusingly quirky premise. If you feel like watching a comedy show, do try this. Number 7. The Bear. It is a comedy drama series created by Christopher Storer. If you are among the few who have not yet watched this gem, let me give you a quick overview of season 1 before we discuss season 2. The first season tells the tale of aspiring cook Carmen, who, following a tragic loss in the family, is compelled to return to his hometown to handle the sandwich-eating establishment owned by his family. In the aftermath, he struggles to settle into his new routine and find ways to manage the difficulties of running a tiny business, his difficult employees, and his tense family ties. While Carmen's sandwich-making skills took center stage in the first season, season two strikes a neutral tone by focusing on smaller narratives that satisfy audiences' demands for character development, excellent editing, and brilliant direction. In season two, we watch as Carmen and other characters struggle as they take on the challenge of transforming their outdated sandwich shop into a top-notch establishment. Season 2 delivers an aesthetically pleasing and emotional spectacle that gets viewers into the high-stakes world of a dining business through its captivating storytelling and superb execution. Number 6. Skull Island. It is an animated action-adventure series developed by Brian Duffield. The plot centers on an unlikely group of adventurers who set out to the ocean in the 1990s to save Annie from the depths of the ocean. As a consequence, they end up stranded on the treacherous Skull Island, where they work collectively to overcome the threats posed by the enigmatic island's deadly beasts. 
As characters encounter militants and race to leave the most dangerous area on Earth, the series delivers an exciting animated adventure. Skull Island takes place decades before films and feels like a solo story, so it does not appear to be tied to the larger monsterverse, but it does make several references to it. The show uses comedy and sharp humor to complement the constant action. The narrative reveals a different side of King Kong's realm and provides people with a fast-paced orientation to the monsterverse, although the show's hurried conclusion is its single flaw. The series certainly has the potential for something bigger and scarier, as Skull Island's weird creature-filled environment has plenty more to explore. Number 5. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. It is an political action thriller series based on characters from the fictional Ryan verse created by Tom Clancy. The fourth and last season of the series debuted on June 30, 2023. The first two episodes are currently available, and two more will be made available every week. After an intense and action-packed third season, the fourth season starts with Jack, who has become an interim assistant director of the CIA, and faces his most perilous assignment to date, including an enemy that operates globally. But once he starts looking into reports, he and his loyal allies find proof of a collaboration involving a terrorist group and a drug cartel. If you are unfamiliar with the show, the plot essentially centers on Jack, a CIA officer who, in the first season, left the safety of his office job to find out about a series of suspicious payments being made by an emerging criminal organization. In the second season, Jack finds himself in a corrupt Venezuelan political conflict. While in the third season, Jack looks into a conspiracy that aims to start a war by resurrecting the Soviet Union by exploding an undetectable strategic nuclear bomb in an older Soviet nation. In conclusion, this series is for fans of spy thrillers. Imagine if Mission Impossible had a television show. Number 4. Secret Invasion. It is an action-adventure thriller miniseries based on the Marvel Comics storyline of the same name. You will be familiar with Nick Fury if you watch Marvel films. For those who don't know, he founded the Avengers to protect the universe from unidentified threats. I won't go into the entire MCU storyline because it is huge and explaining how it relates to the secret invasion will require at least a 10-minute video. In this series, Nick Fury discovers a plot by an organized group of Skrulls that aims to invade Earth. Skrulls can, in essence, assume any human shape, which means that the characters and heroes you have seen thus far in the MCU could be Skrulls. The entire plot revolves around Nick Fury and his friends trying to hold off the Skrulls, who have breached every sector of the world. Together, they fight against the clock to stop an impending Skrull invasion and protect humankind. Unlike previous MCU shows, it is actually very inviting and has a very different tone than earlier shows. Also, the spy element, intense suspense, fantastic casts, and notably terrific action, which were lacking in the Marvel series, are all present in the show. Number 3. The Witcher. It is a fantasy action-adventure series created by Lauren Schmidt Hisrich. One of the most watched Netflix shows has returned with a new season. Although the plot is quite complicated, the characters' objectives are straightforward. Geralt, Ciri, and Yennefer are all together in this season, pursuing shared objectives while ensuring Ciri's safety and educating her to control her power and stop her enemies. However, in other places, the continent is in a state of anarchy as a result of what happened in season 2, and everyone, from rulers to wizards to elves, seems hell-bent on locating Ciri for their own sinister purposes. While they are fleeing, enemies soon cause them to separate, where Yennefer brings Ciri to the sorcery school to teach her and protect her, while Geralt pursues a fire-wielding wizard who is looking for Ciri. The narrative is still epic and features a couple of new creatures, magic, and witches. The show can let down die-hard fans with high expectations, but it provides a ton of enjoyment and a never-before-seen fantasy universe for viewers in general. Henry will unfortunately not be returning for the series' next season, which is a setback, but the show must go on. But the good news is that Henry is working on an expensive sci-fi game-based series, so we will see him soon. Number 2. Hijack. It is a thriller drama miniseries created by George K. and Jim Field Smith. The central character of the story is Sam, a skilled professional mediator who is tasked with negotiating an agreement on peace for the takeover of the hijacking of an aeroplane from Dubai to London. Meanwhile, Sam Nelson needs to act up and employ all of his clever skills to safeguard the passengers' lives and ensure that it does not result in catastrophe. 
It is a suspenseful thriller that follows the journey of a hijacked aircraft over the course of a seven-hour flight, while officials on the ground rush for solutions. The story is a gripping, character-centered thriller that keeps you on edge from the second episode itself. The first two episodes of the seven-episode season debuted on Apple TV Plus on June 28, while new episodes will air every week. It is an engaging thriller, don't miss it. Number 1. Warrior. It is a martial arts crime drama series created by Jonathan Tropper. This is a cult classic and a must-see show of all time. And finally, the third season has arrived after an extended delay. The third season begins immediately after the events of season 2's conclusion, where Ah Sam and Mai Ling, two siblings, are on opposing sides of the gang conflict between the Hop Wei and the Long Zai. In the aftermath, the Hop Wei, currently commanded by a young Jun, an acquaintance of Ah Sam, who continues to fight for the area, are on the verge of hunger due to a number of harsh laws against town people and companies. For the new viewers, the show takes place in late 1870s San Francisco, during the period known as the Tong Wars, and centers on Ah Sam, a martial arts genius who immigrates from China in quest of his sister. However, after demonstrating his fighting ability, Ah Sam is hired as an assassin for one of Chinatown's most prominent organized crime families and learns about the fundamentals of gang conflict. Although season 3 contains a number of unnecessary subplots, a spectacular conclusion pulls all of this aside to make the overall experience an unforgettable one. This show gets better with each new season, and the third season of Warrior flows smoothly, with its essential elements of roughness and an outstanding crime and drama storyline that never fails to keep you entertained. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.